Like, why would somebody buy this? How small are people's brick? <sighs> hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, today's video is going to be, if you couldn't tell already, by the title, the intro, and now the background. It's going to be a Halloween themed video. And yeah, so this is Gloopit. He is my new ghost teddy. Like, how amazing is he? He's like an actual legit ghost, but a teddy, so love it. Okay, so I love Halloween. I mean, like, who doesn't love Halloween? Probably a lot of people, man. Shut up. So anyway, most of the products sold around Halloween are legit some good quality decorations. Though it has to be said that some of the stuff people try to sell around Halloween is just some grade A shite. So today's video is just us going through some of this utter tripe and just having a laugh basically. So I asked my dad to find some ridiculous Halloween products that people were trying to sell and we're gonna go through this together. Come on, we're gonna experience this together, we're gonna see what kind of crap people are trying to sell. Let me just go on the first one. <laughs> right, okay, what on earth? I mean, I get it. It's an outdoor web for decoration. Oh my god, this, this is just ridiculous. Right, so firstly, let's assess the price. This piece of trash is £20 plus £4 delivery. That's legitimately £24 for some cheap, tacky, white fabric and some pegs. I mean, come on. You could make this yourself at home for less than a quarter of that price. Okay, secondly, it looks ridiculous. No one is going to be impressed by that. It looks like the skeleton of a flipping tent. And you know what, I don't even want to think about the kind of accidents that could happen when getting home drunk. Like, can you imagine? <laughs> I just feel like this is so pointless and such a waste of money for like such a short occasion. I just think that's a waste of money completely. Okay, so let's check out number two. Oh my god. Right, okay. So what I'm essentially looking at here is a wooden lantern, homemade, obviously. This is just like... <laughs> I can't deal with the fact they've tried to flog this for £10 plus £4 postage like £14 for this professional looking you know what, I can't even joke this scruffy, messy looking lantern that looks like someone's had a stroke halfway through carving it whilst being completely blackout drunk I mean come on why would you spend all that money for this item that can only be used once a year? Actually, come on, to be fair, there is something slightly more sinister and terrifying having it looking like this. It's as if the Chainsaw Massacre Man himself, Leatherface himself, arose from the dead just to create this decoration for his favourite time of year. Oh, let's see if anybody's bought this. Um, oh, no, it's got zero bids. I wonder why. Okay guys, let's go on to number three. So far they've not been too ridiculous, but let's check it out. Oh god. Oh no, what is this piece of shit? Okay, let's just look at the title and let this sink in, okay? Animated, light up, magic book, Halloween prop, witch spell, party decoration, and sound. Wow. I don't know what I'm more upset about. The eagerness of this company trying to lure in innocent victims to buy this utter crap or the fact that people will have actually gotten excited and fallen for the advertisement of that title. I mean, let's take a closer look at this right here. Okay, so look at these cheap, embarrassing effects they've added to try and make it seem more animated and quirky when in reality it's just a piece of fucking plastic with no useful purpose. Ooh, guys, 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 there's a video. Like, there's an actual video. Let's just see what this baby can do. <laughs> well, I'm, um, I'm speechless. It looks amazing! I'm obviously kidding. I'm actually embarrassed for the people trying to sell this. It literally shakes, makes some spooky sounds, and the eye on the front lights up green. 
This is just so ridiculous. Why do people buy this? For a Halloween prop that's used once a year. Oh my God. It's an actual prop. It has no real useful purpose. So come on guys, tell me. Why have 49 people bought this product? I just, I, uh, I can't deal with it. I just can't do it. I can't deal with this. Let's go on to number four. It seems to me like there are only six products, so thank God we are like halfway through. Okay, so number four. <laughs> oh my God. This has to be a joke, right? All right, okay, come on, come on. This is definitely a joke. No, 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 no. This is a piss take. 109 people have not fallen for this shit. Oh my God, tell me why, why, why have 108 people spent 999 pounds on this piece of utter rubbish? I have no words. This is literally, legitimately, some black fabric with a face that changes colours. I just feel really ashamed to be part of the human race right now. I just can't. Like, why would somebody buy this? How small are people's brains? Imagine having a thousand pounds, like one thousand pounds. Just think of all the things you could buy now imagine spending it all on a fucking decoration. I mean, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So, I said I was done, but I'm clearly not because I'm back to see the last two products. But, right, it's okay, so, okay, right. First thoughts, this is possibly the worst thing I have literally ever seen. This decoration looks like an accurate representation of my life. Like, constantly trying to drag myself out of all the bullshit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, this is 504 pounds, okay? Who in their right mind would pay that kind of money for a small, insignificant Halloween prop? Like, you could probably make your own version of this for like one fifth of the price. Like seriously, why do people spend so much money for an event that's once a year? Jesus Christ! What is the world coming to? There are people that would literally do like anything for one pound or one dollar if you're American. But nope, you're gonna go and buy a once a year Halloween prop for over 500 pounds. My God. Yes, I am a hypocrite. Um, because I've clearly just gone out and bought Halloween decor. So let's move on, okay? Let's move on. Okay, so finally we come to the last product. I just don't think my little heart could take much more of this. So, you know, let's see. Oh, oh my God. I used to get these when I was younger. Like literally I got these every year for Halloween. Oh, I love these like witch fingers. They were sold everywhere. They were like a pound and they were like tubes and you could just put them on your fingers. Wait. Hold on, hold up. Piss off, no. 503 pounds. This, this has to be a joke, like. Oh, are they sold in like a bulk pack of like hundreds or something? Okay, let's take a look, okay. Oh my God, they are literally not. Look at this, each sale is for a pack of 10 fingers. Wow, oh my God. 503 pounds, hold on. 40 packs of these have sold. Who buys this shit? Wow, I really just don't have anything else to add to this. Like, how, how, what? 503 pounds for 10 plastic witch fingers. Like, I'm just in pure shock that people buy stuff like this. Like, why? Okay, right, I'm just gonna close the laptop. This is just gonna go. Yeah, okay, let's just get out of it, get out of it. Happy place, happy place. No, like, I'm not into all that shit, so I don't know why I'm doing it. Okay. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Um, it was just a laugh, and I just felt like I was, like, sat with a friend looking through ridiculous products. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe if you would like to see more. 
and yeah I just had a lot of fun making it lots more Halloween videos to come and yeah I will catch you in the next one guys